a lot of sound More when I was not around Certain people that I know They ain't no longer about Unless you heard it from me Then you ain't heard it from me Got it from me All the energy extra
for the shing. Convoy is alive, we shall begin the debrief. Alright, tic tac's done. The uh, so yeah, the cow bike, burpee box and pulvers into some form of rope climbs. Uh, my goal, first of all, was to try and go for negative splits, so starting slower and progressively each round, getting a little bit quicker. Um, didn't manage it. <laughs> Uh, I think, so I did it, so 232, 230, 223, so progressively getting quicker there, then 225, and I felt at that point that it was more fatigue that built up in my arms for like pulling strength, so I knew I was just going to, I would be, I would struggle to go um, faster every round after that, so from round five, I actually just like switched up my tactic a little bit and Wanted to see if I absolutely sent the bike and then chilled out on the box overs, how I would then feel on the uh, rope and how that would affect my, um, my round five time, um, which ended up being a few seconds slower, but faster than I thought it would be. I think that just shows how much time you can make up by sending the bike. Um, what I did find though, that made round six. Um, very hard. <laughs> 251 around six, and just because my heart rate was still high, I think, and then hanging on to some legless rope climbs on that round five just made round six like, feel even worse. So, just tried to mix it up a little bit, try and learn from something else rather than, you know, just plodding through the workout and putting some scores on the board. I know that I can send the bike and do burpee box overs and still do rope climbs now, but then I also know that like it takes me a long time to recover from that. My leg with rope climbs feel uh, much harder when the heart rate's higher. So. Uh, for me, negative splits as well, which I actually managed to do some well. 236, 233, 230, 222, 220, and 210. Um, other little goals within the workout were on my first rope climb, try and do every single one of them in two pulls, so jump up as high as I could, lock in. And then one more big reach, uh, lock in, touch the top, which I managed to do on five of the six. Um, and then I never really focused on doing the no touch before, but just trying to gauge where to kind of loosen the rope between your feet to be able to touch the bottom and then get your feet right up again and wrap back in. So that was quite fun to play with, you know, a new kind of skill there. For the burpees and the bike, Bike the first couple of rounds was in around what I reckon my 30 minute pace is on the Echo. So in around 67, 68, more like 68. Um, and then burpee box jumps, stepping up, stepping down. I really dropped my split from round three to four by jumping up on the box and not stepping up before jumping up. So I'll go down in the burpee, jump straight on the box and then step down and that seemed to shave quite a bit of time off my burpees without changing my bike speed too much and then I tried to up the speed on the bike a little bit more by a couple of RPM for the last two rounds um, and keep the same technique on the burpees and just be uh, like focused and accurate on the rope so yeah just about managed to keep negative splits yeah the good sessions like that when you've got one-to-one -one work to rest or if you're in a partner you go I go uh, I'm just finding like what like a good hard pace would be so we both could probably repeat the first set pace for quite a long time but it's finding like if that was to be three rounds of time for example in a workout like what would be the uh, average split that you do each round without a rest it might be the set we did the first round in it might be a little bit slower but it's just finding how like different paces feel so that you know like when you've done one set like how fatigued were rather than just like you send it and I'll send it, you send it and I'll send it. Like just to, to learn a little bit more, think a little bit more while you're doing it. Yeah, what I learned from that as well for myself is that on the burpee box jumps, I've not like done lots of burpees recently. 
to one side, I can turn and jump on the box pretty easy, but the other side not so. So that's something in my future workouts uh, where I'll place a bit more focus is managing to alternate sides at which I kind of step up or jump up. Um, so it makes it, you know, a bit more even inside. Peace. Seven. So yeah. Yes, yes.